another video. As I mentioned in my previous uh, news update video, um, this one is going to be uh, demonstrating execution cycles and you've seen me uh, working on it in the previous video and now it's done. Now initially I wanted to make just a single video, just this explanation, but then I had this ID and um, so it's going to be a two part video. In this one we're going to cover everything that happens here and um, in the second part um, there will be something a little bit different but we're going to leave it uh, to that. So um, first of all let's um, start as always by having a look at what we have on the breadboard here. We're going to start at this point where I have an 80 mega 8 uh, chip and the flow of the circuit goes from this point and it sort of spirals around like like this and um, aside from the 80 uh, mega 8 chip which uh, I'm going to talk about in a moment just to explain what it does here we can see that we have a <coughs> data bus set up here just 4 bit this whole system is 4 bit we have two 8 bit transparent latches which represent register A and register B and each one of them will receive a 4 bit value we have here a full adder that only adds values so uh, it's going to add register A and register B whatever comes out uh, of the full adder is going to go into register C which again is another 8 bit transparent latch from here uh, we can see that we have a memory uh, it's a 16 word 4 bit memory just a very simple chip and uh, we are writing the value into the memory and then we are reading it and we have a 4-bit uh, uh, binary counter which represents our address bus so that we can address different addresses uh, that can call the memory and where we want to write it and where we want to read from. So let's um, uh, start by having a look at this 80 mega and what exactly its function is. Now uh, before that I will mention that I made previous videos explaining about each one of these components that you see here. There are videos demonstrating the data bus, the transparent latches, the full adder, the memory, the binary counter, how to work with them, how to set them up. There are schematics. You can just set up each one individually and see how they work. And here I've combined them all together into this uh, circuit here. Now, um, uh, we also have, um, before we talk about the safety mega, we have LEDs. You can see each part has four LEDs attached to it. That helps us see exactly which value uh, is placed in the register or um, uh, which value comes out of the full adder or the memory or the address bus and it helps sort of visualize this whole thing. Right here we have an 80 mega 8 as I said and um, it's not really related to the circuit but it makes my life at least uh, much more easier when wa wanting to make this demonstration and it basically replaces a whole bunch of chips and uh, another circuit which I don't have room for it and uh, it, uh, it, it decides uh, it carries out the whole cycle so it will just raise and lower the appropriate pins so that everything happens uh, in order. So it will decide when to place a, a value on the data bus and when to raise the outputs and um, this is uh, what it does. Here we have two LEDs. This one um, is basically representing the timer. So every um, command that is executed, command quotes, every operation that is carried out um, is represented by this on and off, uh, we have operations that are carried out in an on state and also in an, uh, in an off state or high and low, how you prefer calling it. This uh, LED here is uh, just going on when the cycle is complete. So each time that the cycle is complete, as you can see here, uh, it turns on and then the cycle begins once again. So um, let's, um, let's see what exactly happens in this circuit. Um, we have our 80 mega and again it controls everything. Another thing that it does uh, since I didn't have another memory to use it, uh, it generates a random 4-bit value and places it 
on the data bus and it starts from there it will place a value on the data bus and we can see it uh, happening right here so here we have value 1 then it sets the value in register A it then sets another value on the data bus and it will set the value in register B it does so by latching uh, the two registers and you can see right here when we uh, raise the outputs you can see the values that are sitting in them once uh, register A and register B have both values in them the outputs are raised and the outputs are added using this 4-bit full adder right here and whatever result it gives out it will then latch register C and register C will hold the value from the full adder these two registers uh, will delatch so that we lose the values also the outputs are lower from uh, register C the value is placed back on the data bus and from the data bus it is written to whatever memory address we are calling after it was written there is a call to read the value so we can see what we've actually uh, uh, read and then the address bus will go high uh, will raise itself uh, by one so that we go to the next address and the cycle um, then ends and repeats itself every time from new so you can see here right now uh, we had a value and it was written and this is how this uh, cycle goes about um, if you want schematics for this uh, for this nice uh, demonstration uh, if you want to uh, just use it if you're a teacher or an educator and you want to show uh, this example you will find a link in the description uh, to the schematics and you can build it yourself and I think it's a very nice example a very basic one just to show how a computer system uh, works and uh, trust me it when, once you show this to your students it will save you a lot a lot of talking about theoretical stuff and trying to explain everything in theory so um, that's why I'm focusing on these uh, on these examples like this and I also as I mentioned previously I enjoy uh, making them just as a side note um, you see here there are a lot of these um, resistors now uh, most of these resistors they're just for the LEDs but here for example we have pull downs for the data bus so that it pulls all the registers and the memory everything so that we get lows and um, here we have just four diodes and these diodes they're here because I'm using this 80 mega 8 and uh, its uh, outputs can also source and sync so if we're not going to use these diodes uh, we're going to lose the value that comes from uh, register C on the data bus that's about it in the next uh, video um, I'm going to use this exact same configuration but um, I'm going to remove this chip right here and we're going to look at it in a, in a, in a sort of different way but um, I hope you like this video um, I hope uh, that um, you like the material that I do if you like it then please consider subscribing and that's it thank you for watching and I'll see you next time